Irfan is in Sutton. Irfan, good evening. What's your question? Hello there. Uh, thanks for taking my call. Actually, my question is regarding the IL-35 regulations. So I need to know uh, how often can a client uh, can share uh, these SDSS, uh, status determination statements, to the contractors? So uh, even though if the contract has, it has, has been initially agreed, like an outside, uh, to both contractor and also the client agree, agreed and signed in good faith, and then how often even uh, can the client also be able to share the SDS even during the contract? Right. Let's let's Another just take this a little more slowly. Um, IR35 mm-hmm. is a way of determining somebody's tax status uh, and it applies to people who run their own um, one man personal service companies and provide service to a hirer. Uh, And the hirer has to decide that if there wasn't a limited company in the middle, would that person be an employee? If they would be an employee of the hirer, then the hirer has to uh, tax them as if they are an employee. Now, uh, SDS, uh, you mentioned SDS determinations. Uh, Erfan, just tell me what that stands for. Yeah, that's status determination statement. Right. And that's the determination. That's the statement. That's the result, essentially, of the act when the hirer decides whether somebody, if they weren't contracting through a limited company, would be an employee or a self-employed subcontractor. Now, having just got that straight, um, I got a little bit confused when you were using the phrase client and contractor. Um, So just ask the question again using the words hirer and subcontractor so I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, so the hirer, uh, can hirer be able to share the new SDS uh, as inside from outside uh, to the subcontractor? Why on earth wouldn't wouldn't they share them? So um, the issue is here, you know, my specific uh, issue here is um, th- there was a contract. Uh, uh, are are the you item. the hirer or are you the subcontractor, Irfan? I'm the subcontractor. Right. So the hirer has done a t- determination. What, what Have they found you're taxed as an employee or taxed as an independent contractor? Uh, they said, like, you know, uh, it, it deem, it's deemed to be inside, uh, although they have shared the SDS. As inside IR35, so you're you. being taxed as an employee. Yes. That is correct, yes. Yeah. So, uh, right. So, so now explain to me what your problem is. So the problem here is, uh, you know, last year when this rule was supposed to come into force, so the, the hirer shared the SDS as outside because they, you know, we, we together sat and we filled the assessed tool uh, and everything. Okay. We, we so, la- so last year you were assessed as being genuinely self-employed, even though there was a limited company there uh, yes. and you didn't pay tax as an employee. This year it's changed and you've be- and they've changed your assessment to you're being taxed as an employee. Have I understood that correctly? Yes, that is correct. Right. Yes. And, and without even notifying me uh, what's going to be changed, and nothing's changed as regard to working practices, nothing's changed as regard to the uh, contract or, or even on the papers. But then suddenly they shared the SDS, not only me, but also the other subcontractors. So there are actually... Right. Three, so, uh, Irfan, uh, is your question actually, can the hirer change their mind from year to year? Is that your real yeah. question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, even during the contract... Well, it's the tax years that matter. Um, so 6th of April is, the, is normally the trigger date for this for this changing. Is that when it changed for you? Yeah, that's correct, yes. Yeah, OK. So can, can a hirer change their mind as to somebody's employment status and bring them within IR35, within uh, the tax system, um, if they weren't previously? Um, yes is the short answer. Uh, because until i'm assuming you work for a private company as opposed to a local authority yeah Evan. yeah um until the 6th of april this year uh hirers took the decision on whether somebody was inside or outside ir35 so took the decision on who paid the tax but if they got it wrong you as the contractor uh were the ones that had to pay the interests and the penalties it changed this year so that if they get it wrong they, the hirer, have to pay the interest and the penalties, which has suddenly meant that hirers who were often generous to their subcontractors and said, you know what, it's ambiguous, it's grey, we'll treat you as outside and that way you get the benefits of being self-employed, have gulped, thought about it again and thought, you know what, maybe we were a bit too generous because now we're going to get slammed with penalties and interest. I don't think we can uh, sort of 
close our eyes quite so much to the reality of the situation anymore. And so that's resulted in a lot of people being brought within IR35. Now, they are obliged. They are obliged to give you a chance to appeal the finding. Have they done that? Yeah. That appeal was like a bit of a Just joke answer my question, Irfan. Have yeah. they allowed you to appeal they the did. finding? Yes. yes, they did. Yes, and presumably they rejected the appeal. Yeah. Fine. That uh, You have three options in that case. Number one is you can find a new job. Mm-hmm. Number two is you can suck it up. Number three is you can bring a claim against them for unlawful deductions in the employment tribunal saying they have wrongly deducted your tax as the result of wrongly assessing you as within IR35. Which of those three options sounds like the most palatable one to you? Actually, you know, uh, I don't know if if it's just a stupidity or something. I actually fell for uh, the fourth option. So there is an agent in place. So the agent actually advised me uh, back then, uh, look, it's just David versus Goliath. So, you know, there's no way you can win. Uh, Erfan, I asked you what of those three options you were going to do. You said you've got a fourth. What's the fourth option? Yes. Yes, there's a fourth, op- fourth option that I, that I adopted. OK, well, so well my- done. Um, Tony is in Maidenhead. Tony, good evening. What's your question? 